Okay, so I want to do uh, a short video on the Peacock hand warmers. Um, <clears throat> now, I've used a number of other hand warmers. Um, the standard uh, activated charcoal hand warmers, um, Johnny hand warmers, uh, Zippo hand warmers, and these Peacock hand warmers. So, um, the reason that I like these Peacock hand warmers so much is that First of all, they're still available. Um, Johnny was my kind of go-to hand warmer for um, many, many years ago. And the company went out of business, so you can't get those hand warmers anymore. You can get them uh, secondhand on eBay, uh, but you can't buy the spare parts for them. Uh, however, the elements in the Johnny hand warmers are, from what I've experienced, very, very durable. If you can find one that's working uh, and you can keep it in good shape, it's probably going to last you for a very, very long time. Uh, I do have a handful of them that are secondhand, and they work pretty well. Um, <clears throat> however, the downfall is, like I said, they're a little bit harder to come by, and um, for me, they actually burn a little bit too hot. Uh, I, I use them for uh, running mostly. I run outside in the, in the wintertime. It's cold, and I want to keep them closer to my, you know, in my hands and closer to my body. Um, and... These, uh, they, they, the Johnny's tend to burn, burn a little bit too hot. In addition, I've, I've experienced a handful of the Johnny hand warmers that tend to go out and they don't stay lit when I keep them, um, closer to my body or in my hand or in their, um, in their sleeve. And if I take them out of their sleeve, they're way too hot. And if I keep them in their sleeve, they go out. So, uh, you can't really win with that. So that's why I got the, the Peacock hand warmers. Uh, they tend to stay lit. They stay in their sleeve. They're not too hot. They don't burn out. Um, I'm using mostly the standard hand warmer. Um, this one, you notice these, um, this is the giant and the baby, and then this is the standard size. Um, the standard size this, of this version, I've used it a handful of times. I've had this for maybe a couple, a month or two. Um, and you can see here, um, you can see the elements in a little bit used. But um, oh, let me take this. This element comes off, and you can see the car cotton in there. It's got a little bit of caramel color on there, but it's pretty, it's pretty, um, pretty white still. So it's not really getting burnt out like some of them do. Um, these elements, from what I've read, last about 70 uses, I think. Um, it's a platinum catalyst, so the way these work is that you put some naphtha lighter fluid in there and then um, you use a lighter or a match and you start this, um, start the reaction going by heating up the platinum catalyst and it burns the naphtha fumes. Uh, the vapors from the naphtha get um, um, oxidized, they combine with oxygen and form essentially water and carbon dioxide like a standard uh, hydrocarbon uh, fuel would. Uh, so <clears throat> that, that's how that works. Um, under the action of the platinum catalyst, these get, um, they get pretty warm. Um, I've used them uh, recently in a, in a trip north. It was about four degrees or so, uh, two or three degrees on a regular basis, uh, very near zero uh, Fahrenheit. And these, um, these kept me warm. Uh, I kept them in my pants pocket, and these I was warm the whole time. So that's the, um, the standard size. And I'm going to open these, this guy up and just show you what the, these two sizes look like. I do plan to get uh, a handful more of these just because I want to keep these on hand. Um, <laughs> they're a little tricky. Um, the downfall of the peacocks, as far as obtaining them... Um, they're not available in the United States so readily. I, I mean, you can get them on eBay uh, or through Amazon from you know third-party resellers, but purchasing them from you know a regular reseller, you're going to have to go to like the United Kingdom or something like that to get to get these guys. So I don't really feel like doing that. So I just get them on eBay, or uh, actually these came from Amazon. Excuse me. Um, so this is what comes in here. You can see um, the hand warmer itself, um, the sleeve that uh, that comes in, and then uh, this is the fill 
the fill unit and I'll compare those two in just a moment. There's also um, excuse me, a set of instructions in here and I think these instructions are probably in Japanese because <laughs> this is a Japanese company that makes these guys. Uh, this company's been in business for a very long time from what I understand. Yeah, they do have some basic picture diagrams there telling you how to use this thing. They do have some, um, you know, this company's been in a, a, around for a very long time. I, I suspect they're going to stay around for a lot, lot longer. Um, I hope that's the case. I do like their products, and I hope that um, they can keep that. So these are actually a little bit bigger. This giant one is kind of a lot bigger, like the Johnny size. Um, and I'm kind of wondering if this filament would fit on a Johnny hand warmer um, body. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, that's maybe a video for another another time. So that's uh, that's what that looks like. And then the lid goes on there. And let's compare these two real quick and see. Um, these actually look to be about the same size. I'll measure these out and double check the volume of these. Um, yeah, this this looks like it's got a wider base on it, but the volume of the unit itself, the measuring cup, looks to be about the same. But I think that this unit here, this piece down here, this blue piece, is larger than this pink piece. It does look to be the case. And let's see, if you hold those up, you can see that that's a little bit larger there. So if you hold them like that, you can see the difference there, okay? You can see the difference there. So that's the regular size, and this is the giant size. So it's the same volume. But and now, how does this get a 30-hour burn time with the same volume? <laughs> well, there's really no, no trick to that. You just put more fuel in it. Um, what I found with the standard size, I'm going to mention this here in the video, and I'll, I'll do another video for this to explain how that works and maybe do a comparison with these. Um, to get the 24-hour burn time that's expected with this this one. So, so let me go over the burn time. So this is supposed to be a 30-hour um, burn time. Uh, this is supposed to be 24 hours, and this is 20 hours. So to get the 24-hour burn time with this one, um, my experience is that I need two full cups of this fuel. So there's actually two lines on here. There's a line right here and a second line. Uh, if I can get my camera to focus, you can kind of see that second line there. Um, yeah, no, not really. So, uh, well, there's another line on there. You're going to have to trust me that there's actually two lines on there. And um, that top line is where you end up getting um, a full a full um, 12 hours for one, and you put two of them in there and I get about 24 hours. That's been my experience. Um, you may be able to get a little bit more fuel in there and maybe go a little bit further with it. I don't know, I haven't really tried to push it that far. I don't know exactly how much this thing will hold. It's not a good idea to overfill these though. If you do overfill them and you get naphtha on the element, you don't want to burn that off. You just want to let it evaporate. Otherwise it just kind of ruins that element and then you have to buy a new one and they're not cheap. So that's actually probably the most expensive part of the, the hand warmers, that element. So my suspicion is that the 30-hour hand warmer probably takes about um, two and a half, maybe three of um, full things, uh, full fills to get to the point of running for 30 hours at this size. This is a little bit larger, and it is going to have a little bit stronger heat or a, a, a bigger evaporation area and so I bet it might burn a little bit warmer and in that case you might be um, required to have more fuel in it so this is the same thing uh, this baby one is the same thing it's got instructions a sleeve um, exactly the same um, cup as the others um, and, and, and this one is the same size as the pink size. Um, and then the baby hand warmer. So you can see um, the three different dimensions that these come in. And that's, um, that's what I got. So there's the baby hand warmer. The filaments on the baby and the um, standard are the same size. So uh, from what I've read, and it does look to be the case here. So... Um, I can't get that off of there. That's to show you, but yeah. 
there you go. So, yeah. So that's the, the filament. I th I'm pretty sure that comes on there. It's pretty tight on there. I like that, that it's tight. So that's good. It's not going to come off very easily when you're um, moving that around. So this is actually very light. Um, I can imagine this being very, very useful for uh, running. This is actually way lighter um, even than this one. It feels lighter. Um, this one definitely feels kind of heavy. And I can imagine a couple of these uh, around your body or in your pockets. You probably noticed that. Uh, that little bit extra weight. So um, that's how they work and what they are in different dimensions. So a little comparison of them. And I hope you enjoy that. And uh, look for another video shortly. I will do a burn time test on these coming up shortly. And I'll um, explain the volumes of these, give you more, um, more details on how all of these um, compare to one another. Okay, thanks for watching.